Hello brothers and sisters, uh, happy Sunday. Today's message uh, I wrote this morning. Um, it says, Jesus told Peter, upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Jesus is our wise master builder. He knows how to build. His father, was, his father Joseph on earth was a, was a carpenter. He built his church upon the gospel of salvation through him at, through him as the chief cornerstone, which you see in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. But also he built it on the foundations of the, uh, of the apostles and prophets, the prophets telling of his coming. The apostles hold testimony to hold testimony to their witness of the life and ministry of Christ here on earth. To his death, burial, and resurrection. Uh, if there are no apostles and prophets that are functioning in the church, then who is going to hold the church to the gospel and to the original function of the church with all parts operating? Is there any real structure to the church without them? We have been functioning in the pastoral model way too long. This model, with this model, the pastoral model, the gates of hell have been prevailing against the church. Um, because the prophets are supposed to be at the gates in intercession, and they can see with the enemy coming. Um, they are the gatekeepers. They are the, the watchmen on the wall. They can see the enemy coming. They can warn the people. And many churches nowadays don't have prophets functioning. If you were to go percentage-wise, I would say more than 50% are not functioning in the prophetic. Um, uh, with this model, the gates of hell have been prevailing against the church without either one of these positions functioning which includes the apostles or the apostles and the prophets there's no vision direction correction or instruction it's time for a change the church needs to come to maturity and all and all the but all but all the all five full, all the five full ministry which is includes apostles prophets evangelists pastors the teachers are required to do that without them the body will not come to its fullness. And all, 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 all the all the offices of the fivefold are required. In Ephesians chapter four, verse eleven, he gave some apostles, prophets, gave some apostles, pro, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, um, for the perfection of, for the work of the ministry and the perfecting of the saints, unto a perfect man. You can continue on there in your own reading. Then you got to be first or First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse twenty-eight. He set some apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, uh, workers of miracles, governments, administrations, um, etc. Um, are required. So the church isn't fully functioning, and you know, the enemy the enemy knows it. Uh, it was the or First Corinthians chapter twelve also says that um, there, there there was portions like where where I says you don't need uh, don't eat the ear or you don't need another piece of the limb you know the body of Christ is acting like they received amputation they cut off a limb like an arm or leg and. You know, we don't have full function of the body because we've have a full functioning body because we've cut off these and saying those, these positions are no longer necessary. If you consider uh, apostles and prophets a foundational foundational offices, then you cut off the legs, and there's no longer forward movement. So we need apostles and prophets today. So uh, we should. Follow the leading of the Lord. We should honor the apostles and the prophets, those who are functioning. We should honor all men and women God in leadership, of course. But we should, we should, we should recognize the up-and-coming apostles and prophets and 
future generations of the servants of God. But most importantly, we need to bring back the apostles and prophets because they are going to be required in these last days. Be in prayer, be fat, fasting in prayer, and uh, seeking the Lord on this matter. But I guarantee you that he wants to restore all parts of his body. He wants to restore his body of Christ. Every part of it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.